hi guys welcome back to another part of call java tutorial in the previous part of this tutorial we already see the how to uh, how to uh, establish method overloading in java in this part we are going to learn about how to uh, how to implement the constructor overloading in java a constructor overloading is established using creating some changes in constructor parameters or arguments so here I am going to explain how to explain the constructor overloading with a complete example. So here I am going to create a new class that uh, that is used to uh, test the constructor overloading in Java. So here I am going to create a class constructor. I name it as constructor test. In that class, there are two variables int a and b. So here I am going to create another class, the main class, public class. constructor overloading of course that main class contain the main method so this class the main class contain the public class contain the main method Here is the main method. Now here I am going to create a constructor of this class. So here is the constructor public constructor constructor test constructor test so here I assign two values for the variables a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 I just assign two values for the variables a and b. Here I am going to just print that values. Print ln from the default constructor. a is equal to plus a and b is equal to plus b So here in this class, the class name is constructor test. Here there is a constructor of that class. In that class, I just assign two values for the variables a and b. Now again, I create another constructor for this class. But here, I am going to assign two values. In a comma b. Here I am. I just place two arguments. Uh, to integer a and b so I change it as this dot a is equal to a this dot b is equal to b so just I assign these two arguments to these variables a and b on this class so here I'm going to print from the parameter the constructor 
also print the values of A and B. So here you can see that uh, on the same class constructor test there are two cons constructors are present. First one is the constructor test that contain no arguments. Also another constructor is present that contain two integer values. This is called a constructor overloading. So here there are two constructors which are difference. There are difference in the uh, arguments, number of arguments and type of arguments. So this is called a constructor overloading. So now I am going to invoke the two variables, two variants of that constructors. So here I am going to create a class, an object of this class constructor test. Constructor test t1 is equal to new constructor test so here I am I just invoke I just create an object with no arguments so in this case the compiler definitely invoke the default constructor so uh, now again I am going to create one more object for that class I give it as t2 here I just pass two values 30 and 40 so when this statement is secured the compiler will automatically invoke this argument this constructor that that means that contain two arguments this is called a constructor overloading uh, now we need to test this program so here the public class name is constructor overloading so I have to save the file name with this name constructor overloading so I'm going to save this I save it on deep D drive constructor overloading Java I just save it now I'm going to compile the program Java C constructor overloading dot Java okay the program contain no error now this is the time to run the project run the program constructor overloading now you can see that at the first time the default constructor will invoke so from the default constructor the value of a is 10 and value of b is 20 at the second time that means executing by executing this statement by creating this object that contain two arguments this uh, this constructor will invoke uh, from the parameterized constructor value of a and b is 40 guys this is how we uh, achieving the constructor overloading in java uh, you will get the complete source code of this topic from my blog my blog url is given under the uh, description of this video please subscribe my channel now for getting more videos from this channel thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial